On Sunday, a free cycling festival took place to encourage and inspire the city of Birmingham to get riding. This year's route was a two kilometre closed route through the heart of the city, starting and finishing at Victoria Square. Many families enjoyed the opportunity riding their bikes together through the busiest streets of Birmingham. It's where we really try and demonstrate all of the things that are going on for cycling in Birmingham. Uh, bring the community together, pe give people an opportunity to try out cycling on some city centre streets which are completely closed to traffic, which you know, normally got high, we've normally got traffic on these roads. We've got buses and trams and things like that, but you know, many people would like to try cycling, but they're afraid of the traffic. So, um, you know, we just, for, for on this day, we said, right, you know, no trams, no buses, no traffic, uh, come down and try cycling. Um, you can, anybody can come along, families can come along, little children. Um, we've got lots of act cycling activities that people can try. Um, so it's really a flagship event really for our, for our Birmingham cycle revolution. Um, so it's the second year that this event's been going on. Uh, I think this year's been really nice. Obviously events like this take four, five, six years to grow. Um, but it's a really promising start. I think it's really good for this year. Birmingham has not been very open to bicycle riders in recent years, and some experts say that it is time for a change. Events like the Bike Fest are advertising bicycle culture in Birmingham, but there are also many ideas about the kind of improvements needed to Birmingham's infrastructure to finally make it a bicycle-friendly city. Birmingham traditionally hasn't had much of a, or in the last 30 years hasn't had much of a cycle culture in the city centre. There's a lot of groups on the outside of Birmingham, on the edge of the conurbation, who go cycling out into the countryside. But cycling in the city centre for 20 or 30 years has been on the decline. Recently I think it's improving and I'm really hoping that the Birmingham cycle revolution is going to achieve some big changes on the roads, get some beautiful infrastructure on the roads so that people feel safe and comfortable cycling there. I think we also need on the main roads, we need to have safe space there. Uh, the main roads often are the most direct route and at the moment a lot of them don't feel safe. Driving in Birmingham, a lot of people tell me, feels quite risky, quite dangerous. We need some space that people feel safe so that they, they can get the most direct route to where they want to go. So we need more space on main roads. We have to get traffic speeds down. We have a big programme of uh, reducing speeds on most urban roads to 20 miles an hour. Uh, we have that going. But also you have to sell cycling as well. You have to develop a cycling culture. So events like this, you know, which pe people get excited by, have fun. Cycling every day. Well, yes, in Hansworth Park, when I can, you know, like 6.30 I go out in the mornings after you have to hire the bikes. What's the reason why you participated in this uh, bike quest? Because I couldn't ride before and I've learned to ride and it's nice coming here to see everybody who can ride. I'm a beginner, I'm a learner. I just joined a couple of weeks ago. So today's my first trip out on a bike. This is Sam Davis for Big News.